Football is not just a game, it is a way of life. Embrace it with all your heart. That's a saying by a legendary footballer, David Beckham. Hello and welcome to your favorite sport program, Soccer Tribe, where we analyze and scrutinize soccer matters in a spectacular manner. I am Hayden Yakin. Our theme on today's episode is Who is your goat? And with me in the studio here, I have a soccer guru when we talk about credible soccer story. He is a sport journalist. His name is Mr. David Azubike. Mr. David, welcome to Soccer Track. Yeah, thank you for having me. It's our pleasure. Before we digress to today's talk, let's go on a short break. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. back from that short break you're still watching soccer tribe and the film on today's episode is who is your goat who is the goat who is your goat based on popular choice we have um, Cristiano Aviero dos Santo Ronaldo and Lionel Messi but you know you can feel like you want to pick your goat whatever it is you might choose Ari Maguire you might choose Adama Tuayore you might choose uh, Lukaku whatever is whatever it is you just choose one, that's your goat, which means greatest of all time in soccer sport. Right about now, I would like to pick it from Mr. David's perspective. Mr. David, okay. who is the goat? Um, before I dive into the main argument, I would need to enlighten our audience that um, the goat actually um, is not the the entire meaning of goat. Mm -hmm. it's, like, a, it's an acronym of um, greatest <laughs> okay. of all time. And um, when you look at greatest of all time, you have to look at... Um, the consistency, mm -hmm. the quality of the players, their impact in the world of football. Okay. And when you analyze all this, you get a um, list of prominent names. You have the names of uh, Pele, um, Diego Amand Amandu Maradona, Ronaldinho. Ronaldinho. Mm -hmm. But when you look, when you analyze it based on statistics, two only two names actually um, come up top in the prominent list, and mm -hmm. that would be Cristiano Ronaldo yeah. and um, Lionel Messi, Messi, based on their longevity in the game of football. Mm -hmm. But um, from my own perspective, and after analyzing, but I'll pick um, Cristiano Ronaldo above Lionel Messi. Messi. Although okay. um, a lot of people might say, why pick, why making such choice based on uh, Messi winning more awards than um, Cristiano, Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo? But yeah. we, look, we look at stats. Uh, we look at the world stats. When you okay. talk of football, Ronaldo has um, the highest, um, he's the all-time goal scorer when it comes to men's football. He has 898 goals. Just two goals away from 900 Nine goals. Mm -hmm. That is massive. Mm -hmm. That is massive. <laughs> and in the game of football, we all know goals win you games. Okay. It's, uh, yes, we know. Uh, so a lot of people can argue that uh, Messi is more of a game player, but game um, player, that's mm -hmm. playmaker and all that. But when when you talk of the Champions League as well, that is the most prominent club um, competition, mm -hmm. in, especially in Europe. Uh, you see that Cristiano Ronaldo still is still the all-time highest goal scorer. Recently, he won. He was given an award at the just concluded. Um, um, Champions League draws, where he was given an award for being the all-time goal scorer in <laughs> um, the competition, 140 goals. Mr. And Champions he's still League. Mr. Champions League, exactly. Okay. And he's still the, the player with the most assists in that same competition. So, 
you know, not spirit, our few Christian will now do we get the note that how, how the about um the highest goal in a calendar season 91 goals in 2012, 474 goals in La Liga, um 35 hat tricks in uh, Spanish La Liga, you know, consistency during his prime. Okay. He has the World Cup and they have seven ballon doors. What will you say to that? Okay, that's uh, like I'll, I'll start. Um, I, yeah, I know that's not a message. I'll start okay. analyzing it based on the 91 uh, goals in a calendar year. Mm -hmm. It actually speaks for itself. It is for it's just for a calendar year. Mm -hmm. And based on that, he was the best player for that calendar year. And a, a lot of Messi fans will still argue with you that goals is not the least thing they use in rating a player. But yeah. now, one of the arguments now <laughs> is 91 goals in a calendar year. Mm -hmm. So it means goals. There is no way you have to take out goals from football. Mm -hmm. Goals is is a it's a pivotal tool. Hmm. It's a pivot. It is something that is sacrosanct to football because when you don't score goals, you don't win games. It's as hmm. simple as that. A goalless draw is almost. It's also a draw. Hmm. If you don't score, you don't win games. You, you have need to score. Goal you to need win goals, win and when you need goals, you call Cristiano Ronaldo no, to no. get you goals. Hmm. And in terms of the Ballon d'Or, we must establish the fact that um, we said the Ballon d'Or ceremony has actually lost its credibility. Hmm. Um, no disrespect. Disrespect to the. Uh, the organizers mm -hmm. that is the French, uh, the French, uh, football, uh, there's a, a, a particular French, French body, yeah. body yeah. that organizes this, um, particular Ballon award. You notice that the the rules or the criteria for this award changes every almost every time when it comes to Lionel Messi. Mm -hmm. The there was a year, um, Snedger won the treble with um, Inter Milan. Mm -hmm. We thought Snedger would get the ballon d'Or based on the fact that he won the treble with Inter Milan. Um, that is. A, 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 a table that comprises of the Scudetto, that is the Italian Serie A, mm -hmm. the um, UEFA Champions League, and the Italian Cup. And he also went as far as getting to the World Cup final. The same World Cup, you know, Messi was in a group that consists of um, Nigeria, not disrespect, <laughs> Nigeria, South Korea, and Greece. And he failed to register a goal in South Africa. So, I, I and that same year, it was give, given to Lionel Messi based on goals. Whoa. Now, it got to a time where that. Let us now fast track it to his seventh Ballon d'Or. No. We had um, Helen Island in the same position, having um, won the um, treble with Man City. Man City and he was a golden shoe yeah. winner in Europe. Now, we, we see Messi um, doing well in the World Cup. He, he actually won the World Cup with Argentina and all that. But now, they said, okay, the World Cup is more superior to that of all these uh, the leagues and all that. But now, let us, let us change. Let us, um, how would I describe it? Now? Let us switch sides. And let us place Messi um, in Alan's shoes, sure. probably winning the treble with Man City, and put Alan in Argentina, winning the World Cup. It's, it's obviously they will still give it to mm. Lionel Messi. So you have to just okay. take that out of you're, it. You're still standing strong that Cristiano Ronaldo is the GOAT. Exactly. It's high time we go outside there to check it from our audience perspective on who is the GOAT. Let's go. Hello viewers, my name is Oshitayo Loatobloba. I'm outside to hear the views of soccer lovers on who is the GOAT. Join me. You know, uh, for me, Radu is the GOAT. Because for a player to go to different things and uh, uh, perform himself. So. I'll be choosing Messi because he has contributed to the history of football and is a very talented player. Messi, eye test. Unless you have an eye problem, that's how you know that Messi is better than Ronaldo. It's better than him in everything. If you say Ronaldo is better, you tell me Ronaldo can score either goals, he can score long range, he can score right foot, he can score left. At the end of the day, everything goes down to he can score. Can he pass? Can he dribble? Can he move from midfield to Ankara Messi, Ankara Messi, Ankara Messi, Ankara Messi, Ankara Messi, Ankara Messi? Can he, can he Ankara Messi? Have you ever seen any Ankara Ronaldo? Zoli play ball to Jupiter. Oh, that was a massive one. You know, that guy that was saying um, Ankara Messi, Ankara Messi. And I was like, Ankara Messi is true. You know, Messi has the creativity. What do you say to that, uh, Mr. David? There is nothing special about Ankara Messi. An Ankara Messi is just uh, a projection. Although, I think he's, he, he scored the goal. Uh, when you copy Ankara Messi to Siu, I don't know if you get the word mm. Siu. When you hear Siu, it means there's actually a goal. And it was okay. just a celebration. But well, Ankara Messi... And it's, Messi, it's they, a projection. They, they, they there, is, there is a possibility that it might, the ball might be intercepted <laughs> before it actually gets to the net. But when you see, the goal has been scored. It's as simple as that. Okay. A quick update from EPL in this recent week against Manchester United and Liverpool. Unfortunately, uh, Mr. David, your, your team lost to Liverpool, uh, you know, 0 to 3. 
that's a free deficit where uh, Mo Salah did, um, he did double assist and a goal from um, and assist also received from Dominic um, Sobos line. Um, that match, what do you want to say to that match? It was disastrous. That's what I said. I don't have any much anything. So to people say. Are, are referring to it that um, Mo Salah is like is like um, the is like the nightmare to Ten Hag. Yes, because it starts with for itself. Fifteen goals <laughs> in fifteen appearances. It's as simple as that. That's that's massive. All right, guys. That is where we'll be ending today's episode on Soccer Tribe. Till I come your way again, I remain Adam Yakin. Soccer na life, soccer for life. <laughs>